Alright guys, Black is here. And I went to another state. I said I wasn't going to do it again, but I did it again. I went to another state to meet another YouTube fan. And once again, I was disappointed. Okay, Not as bad as I was the first time because this person I've actually talked to for several months, I mean, more than six months. And I've seen pictures of this person, uh, intimate pictures of this person. And the intimate part of the pictures I like. The normal outside part I didn't care a lot for. Now I promised him I wasn't gonna talk about him. So I'm not gonna tell you what city in Tennessee I went to. And I told this person why I wasn't attracted to him. And I told him about 90% of the reason. It's the last 10% will be cruel. I mean, cause I, I did tell him there was something he couldn't control. And it, I'm true, it's something he can't control. Now, I'm gonna tell you, look at me. You know I'm old, you know I'm fat, you know I'm ugly. That's just true. And I don't feel bad about it. I mean, I don't have control of it. I can't control my age. I can't control my ugliness. Now, I could lose weight, but I could, but I probably wouldn't be very comfortable. And to be honest with you, the last time I lost a lot of weight, I damn near died. I, I mean, I was having relations with everybody I met and I damn near caught something that could have killed me. But anywho, so if I had to stay slim, I'd probably be dead. But anyway, getting back to it, I met him at a truck stop. First of all, um, I didn't plan to go to this to Tennessee. Uh, man, I planned to go to Tennessee, but I, it didn't occur to me that I was gonna spend the night in his city until after I left my first stop. I had two stops in Tennessee. When I went to the first stop, I realized that I wasn't gonna make it to the second stop until after they closed. So I said, I have to spend the night there and deliver the next morning. So I texted him and told him I was on the way. I was going to be there at 4.30 or something like that. And he texted me back and told me that he had to work until 5 and he would uh, come meet me after he get off work. So I stopped at a love truck stop in park and he came and met me. And like I said, I've already seen a picture of him, so I knew what to expect. It just, it was still worse than I thought it was going to be, you know. And the thing is, the reason I brought up the fact that I'm old and fat and ugly is this. Believe it or not, I still have standards. Now, I've, I've said this before several times. I, I think I have. A guy told me a long time ago that I was too ugly to be so damn picky. And a it didn't make me feel bad. I felt good. I still feel good. Well, the thing is this, guys. A lot of people feel that because I'm old, fat, and ugly, they assume that I will accept them and all their shortcomings because I'm old, fat, and ugly and nobody wants me. But the thing is, guys, I have high self-esteem. To be honest with you, my self-esteem is too high. And that's the reason I'm alone, because it's too high. I don't want to settle for anything. I don't want to, I don't want anybody that's less than what I want them to be. The person don't have to be perfect, but if the person don't meet my standards, I don't want to be with them. You know, and the majority of the people I all the people I meet. You know, are just not up to my standards. And, you know, I've talked about this guy named Jason who has bad breath. 
When I sit down and think about it, Jason is probably the closest thing to my standards. But I can't deal with him because of his bad breath. And I sometimes wonder if it wasn't for his bad breath, could I deal with the rest of it? I could deal with it better, but I still wouldn't be happy because Jason just wants to get off with me. I mean, he can he spend time with me, but he wants to sit in the house with the curtain closed. What the hell we sitting in the house with the curtain closed for? He don't want nobody. He wants to get up, close the curtain, come and hug me, and then get up, open the curtain back up. <clears throat> well, actually, he want to leave him closed, but if you can't hug me with the curtains open, you don't need to be here. And which is the reason I blocked his number. Well, actually, the reason I blocked his number because he asked me a question. I, I asked <clears throat> Jason to send me a picture of something. I've told y'all about this before. I have a little fetish. There's something I like to see that turns me on. You know? I'm not really afraid to see, Yeah, I am afraid to say But I mean, I'm not really... I just don't want to tell it on YouTube yet. I mean, I'm not, I'm actually giving y'all hints to it. I mean, honestly, I'm not ashamed of it because there are people with worse off fetishes than mine. I mean, my fetish is really not that bad. You know, so what is it I like to see? I like to see pictures of, I ain't gonna tell you. But I asked, I mean, it's something that you throw away all the time, you know? So it's not like you losing anything. You know, I just, before you throw it away, take a picture of this and send it to them. But people act like it's such a big deal. So, you know, whatever. Whatever, man. Uh, Jason won't do it. He did it one time. I had to, it was something he wanted to see. And I told him I wasn't going to show it to him until he sent me the picture. He sent me the picture. It wasn't, it wasn't really nothing to look at. But anyway, um, he don't like doing it. Uh, this guy in Tennessee, he said he sent me a couple. I think he might have did send me a couple pictures. I don't remember. He, he said that it wasn't, I said it wasn't what I was looking for. And that's probably the reason I don't remember. You know, the funny thing is, if y'all remember, the guy in Kentucky, the um, slow guy, I went all the way to Kentucky to meet. He sent me a few pictures of what I asked for. But uh, there was another. Let me let me get back to this guy. The point is this, guys. I'm done. I don't want to meet anybody else off YouTube. I don't want to meet anybody else off Facebook. I don't want to meet anybody else. Seriously, I don't. Don't hit me up. Don't text me. What well, most people don't anyway. But the thing is, again, I say people who are. I mean, how can I say people who people who nobody wants will hit me up because they think he will accept, I will accept them. And it's not going to happen. If nobody else wants you, I don't want you. You know? I mean, I, I can't make no plan. But if you're curious, okay, what was what was the things I didn't like about him? Now, I, I've told him this, so I'm not talking about him behind his back. He had stained teeth. Now, I have stained teeth. I have stained teeth. I should get them whitened, but I'm like, man, forget it. I mean, they're not rotten. They're not hurting. They're not, uh, what's, what's the word? Infect anything. They're just stained. Um, that was the first thing I saw. But I never did smell his breath. I, I didn't get close enough to smell his breath. Even though we sat down at a table and we ate dinner, and we sat at a table for, I don't know, probably 30 minutes, 30, 45 minutes. I don't remember. At least 30 minutes. We talked, you know. Um, his nails were, his nails, somebody told me some years ago, they call them crackhead nails. I don't know if he used crack or not. You know, he say he don't. I, I Actually, I never even asked. Because if he did crack, I probably would know I wouldn't smell it. I don't think he do crack, though. It just, he had the ugliest nails I've ever, I mean, I ain't going to say I've ever seen. Because I, I saw, I remember a pretty girl I knew some years ago. Um, she was pretty light-skinned, had a nice body. But she had the ugliest nails. I remember, I couldn't stand, I couldn't stand to look at her fingers. And I remember 
remember one time we was sitting down and she wanted to hold my hand. I'm like, oh my God, she got some ugly nails. No, they didn't need, they were like, they were fungus nails or something. They were fungus. I mean, now he don't have fungus there. He just got some rough looking ass nails. I don't know if he bite them or what, but that turned me off. That turned me off. The um the stained teeth turned me off. Um, he had a dirty car or a junky car. Now, now the outside of the car was clean. It was a clean car. I'm not gonna say what kind of car it is, because again, I would be narrowed him down. Um, but inside the car was junky. He had like a cup with ashes or cigarettes, cigars, or whatever in it. She looked gross. Oh, did I curse? He looked gross. Um, I didn't get in the car to smell it because I, I actually wanted him to pick me up and I wanted him to take me to this particular spot where somebody famous was shot and killed. But, uh, I think I just gave a hint. But, um, I didn't want to get in the car. Yeah, I didn't want to get in the car. So, we ended up just eating at the damn truck stop. There was nothing. I, I wanted him to take me to his favorite eat out, eatery place or whatever, but I didn't want to get in his car. I don't like junkie cars. What do I call a junkie car? A junkie car. We know, we all know what a junkie car is. All right? When you got to move stuff out the way for somebody to sit down, you have a junkie car. Now, my car, I might, I might pick up a piece of paper, you know, like I might have you know, a piece of paper laying on the floor like an emission form. I had laying on the floor of my car and I picked it up to move it for somebody to sit down because I threw it on the floor. It was just one piece of paper, though. But when you got to move stuff, for, man, you got a junkie car. And I, I just, when I'm around dirt, I go to itch. <clears throat> and I used to think it was a psychological thing. And I found out it wasn't psychological. When I'm around dirty people, I itch. It makes me itch, okay? When I'm in a dirty car, it makes me itch. If I hug a woman who, or a man with a lot of hair that haven't washed their hair, I go to itch. You know, I remember riding in an Uber and the white lady was driving and she was, she was driving on the road, running the hot white women, running their fingers through the hair and do this right here. Every time she did that, Dirt, dust, and stuff, hair was falling. The back of her seat was all dusty. And I'm like, what the hell? And I was itching like hell in her car. Itching like hell. There's also the reason why I would not order DoorDash. I would not order Uber Eats. I saw a brother the other day was driving for DoorDash. His car needed washing. The tires were muddy. It was black. He had them cheap brakes on now. The car was dirty. The car was junky. And he was um, picking up food. I think it was Krispy Kreme picking up donuts. And I'm like, it, the man had trash. He had stuff in the right front seat. And he had stuff in the back seat. And I'm like, how the hell are you delivering for DoorDash? Um, and then I saw him inside of Krispy Kreme. He was kind of a short, fat, black guy. Not real fat, but fat. Uh, not attractive, okay? And I, I remember looking, I didn't look at him hard because he wasn't attractive, but I remember looking at him saying, damn, he looked dirty. And then we get out, I get outside, he gets into this dirty car. I'm like, there it is. I can look at a person and tell they are dirty. You know, and that's the way this guy was. He just, he, he said he, oh, I almost said it again. He said he works at a department store. He looks like he work in a department store warehouse. And I told, again, I'm not talking about, I told him this. I'm, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just damn. It's, it, you know how, you know how a good looking girl goes off on an ugly guy when the ugly guy steps to her, it pisses her off because she's, she feel dirty or whatever. That's the way I feel when people who are not up to my standards try to talk to me. Now, that's going to be enough. Again, I'm not trying to make this man feel bad. It just, 
Guys, just because I'm fat, old, and ugly don't mean I want you, okay? That does not, yeah, I'm alone. Yeah, I live in a big-ass house. Four bedrooms, three full bathrooms, two car garage. And I'm all alone. But I'm I'd rather be all alone than to be with somebody with bad breath, to be with somebody 400 miles away that I just I didn't even want to hug the guy. I didn't need I I dapped him. Dapped when I came, dapped when I left. I, I didn't want to touch. And the thing, I opened up the truck to let him get in. And he wanted to get in the back of the damn truck and cuddle. And he reminded me so much of Jason. His look reminded me, even though they look completely different. Jason is slim, light-skinned. This guy is brown-skinned and kind of got meat on. He said he was 250 pounds. He didn't look 250 pounds, but... His clothes was real kind of baggy and just, I mean, he looked like guys looked, I don't know, 10 years ago, you know, baggy clothes or whatever. Um, I, I mean, like, like I said, when I seen pictures of him, I knew he wasn't my type, but I assumed he would be on point. I assumed he would be Decent look. I mean, he's decent looking, but I mean, I just assumed it would be better than it was. But did I tell y'all why I went to Tennessee? I know I led off, make y'all think I drove to Tennessee. I actually had a delivery up. Yeah, I think I told y'all that. But anyway, um, I, I I'm so glad he wanted me to drive up there, and I thought about driving up there, but after what happened when I went to Tennessee, uh, Kentucky. I said I would never leave. I would never leave Atlanta. I would never drive more than probably more than seven. I might go to Macon, Georgia, to meet somebody, but they gotta be good looking. And I'm gonna tell you something. I've I've come to realize that if you ain't attracted to the person picture they send you, you ain't attracted to that person. Cause to be honest with you, I was more comfortable with the 52 year old guy, even though. He didn't do nothing for me sexually, the 52-year-old guy, but I was more comfortable with him. I mean, I would I let the 52-year-old guy come to my house. This guy, I don't think I'm gonna let him come to my house. And by the way, when he left, he called back wanting a second time to get in the truck with me. He even tried to uh he even tried to what is a reverse psychology trying to tell me, oh, you afraid of me. You afraid. I ain't afraid of you. You don't turn me on. I'm not afraid of this. No, man. First of all, if there's no man, I'm going to go. If I'm afraid of, I ain't going to meet you. Okay? Just like the, the guy who wants to meet me but won't send me a damn picture of him. Nigga, I'm afraid of you because I don't know what the hell you look like. I'd be a real fool to go meet somebody. I don't even know what the hell they look like. But whatever, man. He probably ugly as hell, too. And that's the thing. I would love to see what he look like because I want to see how ugly he is. But I mean, how the hell you going to meet? want to meet me, but you don't want to show me a picture of you? So I'm talking about, mm, I'm DL. I don't want nobody to know. Well, you don't need to meet no damn body then. Leave me the hell alone. I, I mean, it, it pisses me off. I feel like the fine girl when the ugly guy hit on me, believe it or not. Why are you, why are you degrading me by approaching me? You know? I mean, damn. Um, my son, not my real son, my my uh godson. I almost said fake son. I said that the other day to somebody and they were correcting me. He's not fake, he's real, he's just not yours. His mom is short, really fat, <clears throat> dark skin. I don't really have a pro I don't have a problem with the dark skin. Um I have a problem with her size. I mean, she's smaller than me, but she's sh real short. And it just is 
it's not just her size. It's the fact that our conversation is completely different. I mean, we are in two completely different uh, tax bracket, as they say. You know, I remember when I was younger, my mother and father used to say something about you want to date a girl in your same tax bracket because you all have more in common. You know, um, and that is so true. It's hard to get along with somebody who's broke. At the same token, it's hard to get along with somebody who's rich when you're poor. I'm not necessarily the poor, but when they rich and you're not, you just you talk about two different things. You <clears throat> you have different goals, you have different standards. But again, I'm cool, guys. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to talk to anybody else because, like I said, anybody I won't don't want me. And people who want me, I damn sure don't want them. Okay? So I'm going to end this video. I didn't mean for it to be this long, but I am done. Dre, y'all have a good day.